So in this video I'm going to teach you how to use any built-in function in Roblox. So let's start by inserting a part into workspace. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bigger. Okay. And then let's also go ahead and open up a script into server script service. And then if you watched my previous video on manipulating properties, I went over how to use the API. If you hadn't seen it, I highly recommend it. So we're going to do a similar process here. So let's go, go ahead and go to the API documentation and I'll leave a link here in the description so you can get to it too. I also recommend bookmarking it. We want to pull up the API documentation for whatever object we're messing with. In this case, I'm messing with the part. So click on the search bar, click on engine, engine API and then click on, or I mean type part. And in this case, it's the first one. So I'm gonna go there. Let's go ahead and scroll down until we see something called methods. So right here, it says methods right here. Methods is just another word for functions. So we can open up a bunch of these methods here to get an idea of what we can use. And there's also it's also all listed down here too. I'll go ahead and show you, show you how to use a few of them, but this process will work for any function for any object. So if you got the process down, you can use any function you want. So I'll go with the basic one and use something called destroy. So I click on destroy here and it tells us some basic information on what the function does, as well as sometimes a code example. So uh, in short, it, the, the destroy function just deletes a object. So we're going to test that. So in order to use the function, first we have to locate the object that we're using the function for. So in this case, it will be the part. So game.workspace, let's zoom a little bit, that part. And then in order to use the function, we use the colon and then type in the function we want. So you can see, you can actually see here, there's a list of all these functions right here, right after we typed in the colon. So I can just click, double click destroy like this, and it'll do it for me, or you can just type in destroy and then put parentheses right after it. And now if we were to test this, let's go ahead and run this. You can see the part is no longer there. So that's how you destroy something. And we can also, also give another step about how to use another function. So again, same process, look for whatever function you want to use. Let's say I want to use a uh, clone. So clones are a very common one. So again, basic information here and also gives you an example right there. So again, short definition is that clone creates a copy of the object. So we can go ahead and do that. So again, reference the object you want to um, you want to use functions for. So in this case, the part use the colon and then type in what function you want. So I'm just going to type in clone and then the parentheses right after it. And then if we were to test it, uh, you can see there's still only one part and that didn't happen. And that's because if you read the documentation right here, so it says here that it creates a copy of the object and the, cop the object is set, the parent of the object is set to nil, which, is, which basically just means it's set to uh, nothing right now. So we can set it to uh, workspace. So to do that, we can just type, we need to get the reference of this object. So local clone is equal to clone. This will return a reference, and then we just need to parent it to workspace. So clone.parent is equal to workspace. And if you don't understand this, I recommend, again, watching the manipulating properties video. And then if we were to test this now, you can see I have two of them now. Okay, let's see if there's any other uh, functions we can use. Okay, we can use any of any of these. It's just let's use apply impulse. That one's also a pretty common one. Okay, so all this all this uh, apply impulse does is just uh, pushes a part. So let's try that out. So I'm going to delete this. Reference the object we want to use the function for. So it's the part colon and I type in the function name. So in this case, I want to use apply impulse. And you can see it tells me I need to put in a vector three right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Factor 3, not new. And I'm just going to put in a really big number. Let's try 5,000. Oh, okay, maybe a bigger number is needed. Let's try 9,000. Okay, it's kind of moving, but it's not moving enough. Let's do 90,000. And you can see it pushed it upwards like so. So yeah. And then every object in Roblox has inbuilt built-in functions. So let's, for example, let's try, let's make a particle emitter. So this is the particle emitter object. It emits like 2D images, basically. 
So let's say I want to figure out if there's any built-in functions for this object right here. So we can go back to the documentation, go to search bar, and then type in the object that you're trying to mess with. So in this case, it's going to be the particle emitter. So I'm going to type in particle emitter, and it is the first one right here for me. And then we'll go and scroll down to methods. Uh, that's right here. And you can see there's, they also have built-in functions. So they also have the clone, and they have destroy as well. So we can use both of those for the particle emitter. And there's also emit and clear. Uh, let's go ahead and try the emit uh, method. So again, whenever you're using something new, you should always read uh, the description here. And there's also code example, uh, code examples here. So all the emit uh, method does is it just creates these particles. So if I were to disable this, like so, and then I'll go ahead and, so again, reference the object that you want to change or that you want to use the functions for. So part, and the particle emitter is right under the part. So we do dot particle emitter. And then colon to use a function, and then the function name. So it's emit, parentheses, and then it says here that we need to put in a number. And if, if you don't have this pop up, you can always just go to documentation, and you can see it tells you to put a number right here. So, so in this case, I'm just going to put in 50. I'll go ahead and test it. And you can see it emitted 50. Very cool. Now we can also put this in a loop. If you watched my last video on loops, you will know that a while loop, I can do this. And then I can just put this in here. And now it should loop infinitely emitting particles. Like so. Very cool. And that's really it. I mean, there's not much to it. Um, so, you know, some practical examples. Uh, you know, I have this thing running in the background right here. So this uses a function, it's uh, using cloning, and it's using apply impulse to push it upwards. And it has a little fun little color changing script in it as well. So we can actually go look at this uh, script right here. So you can see I am, oh, not this one, that's the rainbow script. So this script right here. So you can see I'm using the clone function right here to clone the, cu the uh, little color cubes. And I'm positioning them upwards. Uh, by five studs and then I'm pairing them to the folder and then I'm also using the apply impulse function to push them in a random direction so if we were to run this you can see that it is working so that's just in a practical example of how I would use uh, built-in functions and remember this process works for any function for any object and that's the end of the video guys if you like it feel free to give it a like subscribe and join my discord also, we're almost done with the basic series for scripting, so don't give up now and keep watching if you want to become a scripter. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any other tutorial suggestions.